Hello guys, in this video I will show you how you can use your GPU in a Linux container on Windows. In the previous video I showed you how you can use your GPU in a container for crypto mining. This video will be a follow-up where we will do some 3D rendering in a container on Windows using your GPU. First we will do a recap what we need to make the GPU accessible in the container and if you need step-by-step -step instructions then you can check out my previous video where I explain every step in depth what you need to do. The video should pop up in the upper right corner and you can also find it in the description with all the other necessary links as well as the timestamps. So if you want to skip any part of the video just move to the next timestamp. What do we need? At the time of recording we need Windows 11, we need a Nvidia graphics card and we need a special driver for Nvidia. So you should go to the official NVIDIA website, CUDA on Windows Subsystem for Linux, that's what we need. And down there you can find the link to the driver, so you will need to open it. Here select your GPU model, download the driver and install. If it prompts you to reboot, then yes, please reboot, it is important. Next you will need to install WSL, so you will need to copy this command here, paste it into PowerShell and execute as administrator. Now when you are installing WSL, then pay close attention if you get any errors, especially when GUI app support is installing. This one should install without errors, otherwise you will not get your GPU in the container. And reboot again after the install, it is important. And then you will need to install Docker Desktop, so here it is, Docker Desktop, download, install and guess what, reboot again. Now you should be good to go with your Docker desktop running and you can do a final test in PowerShell. Now in PowerShell I'm in as administrator and the final check is to execute this command where we run the sample CUDA container and the important option here is dash dash GPUs all. This one makes sure that the GPU is accessible within the container. Run it. Now if you can see your GPU here then it means you are good to go and everything is working. Alright let's do some 3D rendering. Let's close this. Remove the container and the sample image and now we will do some 3D rendering in Blender. On the official blender.org download site you can find some interesting demo files which you can render. Under cycles I will download this BMW demo. Alright open the folder, here it is and I moved it into a folder that I have prepared docker-gpu where I also have the docker file which we will use to build a docker image. Now let's extract the demo files. Here it is and inside we can see two Blender files, one for CPU rendering and one for GPU rendering. Ok, now if we go back, let's open the folder in Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code I will open my Docker file and as you can see it is a very small one. First we are getting the NVIDIA CUDA OpenGL image. NVIDIA was so nice and has already prepared everything for us. You can find NVIDIA images on Docker Hub, so if you scroll down, here it is, CUDA OpenGL image and in there you can find different packages for different distros. I went with this one, devil ubuntu 20.04 and here it is, devil ubuntu 20.04. Then we will copy the content from the BMW folder, which are actually the Blender demo files, to the container and then we will install Blender in a non-interactive mode. After that we will set the display environment variable to host.docker.internal. This will be resolved to the internal IP address of the Windows host because we will start Blender in the container and display the Blender GUI on Windows. And afterwards we will start the Blender demo file. Now let's build this image. Go to terminal, new terminal. We are already in the right folder and write docker build dash t and the name of the container I will call it docker blender and a dot for the current folder, built. This can take some time. Alright, let's find the image in Docker Desktop. And here it is. In order to display the Blender GUI on Windows, we will need to start an X server on Windows. A good one is VCX Surf. I have already installed it and you can find the download link in the description. You need to run it. Here I will choose multiple windows. Start with no client. Under Extras I will uncheck native OpenGL because we want OpenGL from the container and not from Windows. Click Next and Finish. That's it, X server is running and now we just need to start the container. In Visual Studio go to terminal and write docker run dash dash gpus all. As mentioned this is the important option and the name of the container docker blender. That's it and run it. It's building up. And here it is, blender running in the container and displayed on Windows. Now let's check if we can see the GPU. Go to edit, preferences, now under system, set CUDA. And here is our GPU, so you should be able to see your GPU here. Alright, Blender has recognized the GPU, close this one. Now go to render and render image. The first time you will try to render you will see this loading render kernels. This can take some time and after that rendering will start. In the meantime, 
I started the MSI afterburner here just to see if the GPU is really doing something. And we are rendering. My recording is also lagging because I'm recording on the same machine. And if you look at MSI afterburner, we can see that the GPU is actually in use and it's getting hot here. Now let's see if we can overclock this one. Let's say core clock up 50 megahertz and memory clock up 500 megahertz. All right, apply. And look at that. So we can also overclock here if you want. How awesome is that? Rendering has finished, my recording is also back to normal and here is our beautiful BMW image. We can close MSI Afterburner. On this machine I have an old NVIDIA GPU and it took a bit longer to render everything. If you're interested in Blender and 3D modeling then you can check out my Blender Crash Course videos, the link will be in the description. And that's it for this video, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.